Mobile, Alabama, South Alabama. Put your hands together for Four PD Thank you. Give us a Jew and a black guy one more time. Yeah. Don't they sound like a very, uh, the beginning of a very offensive joke? <laughs> very offensive part joke. All the difference is at the end of it, somebody to get robbed of the money that they're going to take it from. Like he said, I don't know why he mentioned that I uh, graduated from college because it didn't really help me because now I'm a financial distribution officer at a major pharmaceutical company. You can't read between the lines. That's a bullshit way of saying I'm a cash in Walgreens. <laughs> Bitch, I didn't work hard, sacrifice for four years, and my only reward for it is graduate, getting a part-time job for seven fifty an hour. I told my cousin about it. He said, well, at least you ain't got no kids. I said, you're right. I ain't going to have to worry about them now for seven fifty an hour. You ain't going to be doing too much dating. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's, it's hard because one thing I hate about the job, I had the nerve to piss test. Let me tell you something, people. Seven fifty an hour part time is punishment enough. <laughs> I think for seven fifty an hour part time, you ought to let me have whatever drug I want. I am honestly think when I come into work, there needs to be two lines of cocaine, a spoonful of heroin, and two blunts. This is what I think you ought to see as a customer when you walk up to Walgreens in the front counter. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, Marble Lights will be 472. You gonna pay for 20? Look here, um. Hey, baby, get your shame back off. It's 20. But no, what I honestly hate though, I'm gonna talk to you people, because there's some things y'all come up to us and y'all do at the counter. I want y'all to stop doing it. First of all, let me tell you this. If you're at the front counter and a person looks like the person behind the counter looks like they don't want to talk to you, here's a hint. They don't. <laughs> Let me tell you something about the front counter. People who are cashiers treat being on the front counter like being a hooker. We want to get your money as soon as possible so you don't get out of our face. <laughs> after you leave, we're sitting there thinking, where did I go wrong in life? <laughs> I had dreams! That's what it's supposed to happen. And um, white, white ladies, stop coming up there telling us about your plans and stuff. Talk about, I hope I have enough money for my cookies for my book sale. <laughs> Well, man, when these people can buy books and read them. I can't read books. I can afford to keep my lights on at 7 an hour. <laughs> and, and let me tell y'all this. Stop saying this. We can take our business elsewhere. You sure the hell can. See, that's two blocks up the street. It's <laughs> <laughs> not <laughs> <laughs> Do you people realize I have sent so many people to CVS. I was the employee of the month and all this. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm telling you, you see a picture of me from August on the wall with my Walgreens bag in one hand, throwing the middle finger in the other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 we went back home to Mississippi. Um, women, I, I hate when y'all do this. Um, I went home to Mississippi, and the girl had said, So, when you coming home, come out of my house. And I'm thinking, I'm out of town. I don't think we're going to have some sexual relations. <laughs> I go by, she said, Oh, my period is on. I just wanted to see you. Like, Why did you call me? Didn't you just want to see me? Girl, I live in Atlanta, Georgia, which is the, the Hollywood of the South. Do you know the tens I see every day? You think I'm gonna come home and see you? You're not even an eight no more compared to the high, I mean in Atlanta. You are three. <laughs> and speaking of which, um, I actually work around a lot of black women, and people think that is a blessing. Let me tell y'all something. I work in Buckhead for seven fifty now. <laughs> they are not checking me out. And honestly, people, I want to say this: the next job I have. I am an equal employee opportunity. I want to work around everybody. I want to work around Mexicans, Asians, blacks, and whites because everybody plays a part. And here's what I'm going to tell you. First reason I want to work around Mexicans is because it's going to be some days you're going to come to work. You don't feel like doing it. Mexicans going to knock it out in 30 minutes. Y'all can chill for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> then it's going to happen. They may give too much work the Mexicans can't knock out. That's where the Asian comes in. He's going to show you how to do it where everybody can do it real good and don't nobody have to kill them. So he's going to calculate everything real well. There's going to be some days you're going to come to work, you just don't want to feel like working. That's when a black guy going to come in. He's going to show you the little duck out spots where you can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking with the black guy, you're going to get caught by upper management. And guess what? This is where the white guy comes in to straighten everything out. <laughs> Plus, now, y'all been great. I'm Peter Man.